So, all of us, you know, when we're in the shower and stuff like that, whether we got a fixed uh, shower head on the wall or we got a hand shower, we all know that over time, if we got one of these multi-functional shower heads uh, with the various different modes in there, uh, if you notice, like on this one, it's got all kinds of little small little orifices that the water comes out, and we got several different kinds in there. And of course, over time, with the uh, the soap scum and the and the hardness of the water and the uh, minerals in the water and the, you know, whatever comes through our pipes and stuff like that. Uh, eventually it plugs up all these little orifices and they start, you know, spraying weird angles or they're completely blocked and stuff like that. So, uh, some of these things got like a rubber tipped, uh, thing there that you're supposed to, you know, just rub your th fingers around and it's supposed to clear them out. But we all know that don't work and stuff like that. So, you know, a lot of us just live with it and suffer with it. Or they, we get a, like a little pin or something like that and poke it and try to get them clear. But I found a little neat little, like, hack that, you know, if you're into these proxy brushes. And, of course, uh, they're kind of like a dental floss type brush type thing there that you use to clean your teeth. Uh... They're the perfect size, you know, for cleaning out all these little orifices. So the, all these are, this is the, the gum particular uh, proxy brush. So these little guys, uh, you know, use to clean all the gaps of your teeth and that like that. And stuff like that. So, you know, it's just a tiny little brush. that is uh, perfectly sized for uh, cleaning all these little orifices. So, you know, you get all these little orifices in here, you can just stick that little brush in there and clean them all out. Of course, you got to sort of be careful that you don't uh, do stuff like that. But, you know, you just uh, line up the hole and then you can just uh, clean out all the uh, passages. And of course, these things come in different sizes, so, you know, if you want to get a uh, selection of these things, because they come in all different sizes. So this one is the tight, but they come in, like I said, they come in different sizes. So tight is perfect for these little tiny micro passages on this particular uh, shower head, hand shower. And... I can actually see the uh, brush turning colors from all the uh, water scum and rust and all the preservatives that they use to uh, keep the water safe and clean. Of course, if... Uh, this is all going to be like user defined so you know one particular brush seems uh, a little too small you'll have to go up in size if it's too big then you'll have to go down in size but you know generally you should be able to find the right combination or if you can find them uh, sampler packs that sometimes stores have where you can uh, you know use a sample to see uh, which is your favorite or what works for you. And of course, you can put cleaner on here and stuff like that and get all the uh, black mold and moss and, and fungi and uh, whatever else is growing on and in these things out. Of course, you can use bleach or all-purpose cleaner or whatever you got. So it's a pretty good uh, method to uh, clean these things. And of course, on this particular one, it's got really big orifices. So, you know, you might have to do a little reaming without uh, 
distorting the uh, brush too bad. And then we got the uh, kind of got it out, like on this particular one's got kind of like a medium sized hole so you, we can really get in there and, and go up and down and clean them where the uh, the outside one you can't really do that too easy without bending the little fine wire but if you're careful you can do it and then on this one it's got like little air holes so you can get the uh, the air can go in to airify the water. So, simple little uh, maintenance tax for your uh, shower heads or hand showers that uh, you know you can uh, make use or repurpose your used uh, tooth picks brushes whatever they call these things I don't, really don't know what you would call these things they call them uh, proxy glasses blah, 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 blah. I guess it's like uh, for cleaning in between your teeth you know where your two teeth beat and they go up near the gum where you can so you can use your girlfriend's or your wife's uh, teeth brush cleaner flosser whatever you want to call these things to uh, clean your uh, shower heads and your hand showers and if you got uh, sometimes your uh, faucets if you got one of them adaptive like you know what I mean the, the big loop and it, it comes down like a like a commercial kitchen uh, shower adapter stuff like that you can use that to clean all the holes out you get my drift, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you learned something, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.